What's up guys, Dark Cloud here, welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Omega Red Nuzlocke. I actually got it that time, I didn't have to go through everything. Um, in the last episode, we... I believe we beat Lieutenant Surge and rubbed an old man's back, if I remember right. Um, in this episode though, we have made it all the way to Rock Tunnel, and we'll be attempting our way to get through there, and um, first things first, I realized that I really should have just ended the last episode with getting the encounter inside Rock Tunnel. That would have made way more sense than what I did, but we're here now, so um, I did go and grind up the team because this game has proven to be rather difficult. So let's go through, we just got Hammer, huge power. Okay, and this huge power just raises its defense. In later generations, it doubles attack. I meant it raises attack. We're on the same page, it's fine. Um, the attack's 116, though, that's crazy. Sky Uppercut, Crunch, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Evergreen, the same moveset, it's whatever, Evergreen's kind of not pulling our weight. Uh, from reading here, though, Scold, Hyper Voice, Energy Ball, and Sing. Um, Charlie, same moveset, Fire Fang, Crunch, Sky Uppercut, Swagger, Intimidate. I'm kind of reminding myself at the same time because it, it's, it's been a second since I did a pretty big bulk recording session. Um, anyways, uh, Felix, Discharge, thun Thunder Wave, Power Gem, Confuse Ray. I don't even know if that was the same as the last episode, I can't remember. Uh, Nike with Breloom with Mega Drain, Sky Uppercut, Stun Spore, and Leech Seed. Also with huge power. But he has way more attack than uh, Hammer does. But I think Hammer has better special defense. Hang on. He has better defense in general. It's not a bad thing to have. But apparently we're really leading with Hammer. I, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of going with uh, whatever I was already doing at the time. Okay. So let's go ahead and get an encounter in Rock Tunnel here. And I cannot see in here. Okay, counter is... A little while, okay. I forgot to check to see if I had balls too. So... It's also dumb, because I... Sorry. I knew I was gonna get an encounter, so I probably should have just, um... Led one of my two on that can cause status conditions. That would've been smart. I'm gonna let it hit itself a couple times. It's not really doing anything to me, so we're just gonna go through it here. Um, I can actually talk to you about um, something happened today that just was kind of like an a like an epiphany kind of moment, I guess. Um, so uh, I was in church and we were singing a song, and it's one of sang like, we sang like uh, a decent amount of times, you know, because you repeat songs in church like quite a bit. Um, but it's like, it's a song that like, talks about, like, um, how you can't know, um, how many apples will come from one seed, like, one apple seed, and I think that's such, like, a great mindset to really have, because, like, how are you ever gonna know what, like, you as a person can do, like, no one can look at you and know exactly what you can do. It's really, like, it's one of those things that you don't know what's gonna happen until it happens, you know? Um... My brain's not ready for these name things. I'm just gonna call it Eli. But yeah, it's just, like, a super interesting concept, I guess, like, you can see how many, um, apples are on a single 
on a single tree, but there's no way you can know how many apples will come from that one apple itself, or that one seed that comes from that apple. There's no way you can ever know that. I'm gonna go in here to super blind, because like I truly do not remember Rock Tunnel, so I might end up using that repel sooner rather than later. I really do not want to rebuff fights, I literally just want to get- that's an Alolan Marowak. Wow, we have good special defense and that's still hit a lot. Maybe he's not the best one to lead at the moment. I mean, he has the best type coverage. Yeah, I'm gonna look at stats again. Um... Even looking at stats, he's actually the best one. He just has bad HP, that's it. Like, he's got good defense, bad HP. I'm just gonna kind of walk around, see how this goes. I would love the Geodude. I actually super love the Geodude line. A low lane or not, I just... I think they're really cool on. The only thing that bums me out about them is that you have to trade to get the Alolan... Not Alolan, just Golem in general. Like, it keeps it... From most people ever getting a golem. Onyx I do not care for very much just because of its horrible attack stat. That's one thing that I really think should have been fixed in later generations, but it's kind of got kept as, I don't know, an easter egg maybe? I don't really know what the point of keeping it. What is that? Is that a wheezing? Um, yeah, it just got kind of kept in there for... I feel like that's the same ladder I came through. Let's see. Yep. Um, I'm gonna walk around a little bit up here, see if I can... No, I think this is the only ladder. Yep, that's the only ladder in here. Okay, no big deal. I'll just kind of whoop, 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 whoop. There's something right here. Let's go down. There has to be a ladder inside this room somewhere. Oh wait, I better know which way to go. What if I just go up? That's uh, strength rock. Do I have strength yet? Do I have any HMs? I have flash and cut. You know, I completely forgot that I was only at the third gym in this game. I feel like I've been doing this for a very long time. But I think. I think this is episode 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if it is, then, like, that's kind of exciting for me. Like, oh, I was right. My 10th episode since, like, um, coming back and doing YouTube stuff, like, it's very exciting. Um, and, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and, um, put this out there. Uh, I'm working on a new project at the moment, um, to get a little more content on here, because, like, I started out just, you know, doing three uploads a week because, like, I wanted to see if I was going to be able to do this in general with, like, the schedule I already have working a full-time job. And it honestly hasn't been that bad. But it's nice, you know, whenever you have people who are willing to support you and help you in what you want to do. And ultimately, this is something I really want to do. Like, I think just... Making something for others to enjoy and like you can relate to on a different level is just really nice. And um, it's been a little while since I have met people who have an interest like this where we can just, you know, talk about games for a while and like theorize about um, what the theme is for what new games are coming out, or why certain Pokemon do certain things, like, it's just a fun thing that I really miss doing, 
because the people that I normally do that with have like moved away or don't really have the time to mess around with that stuff anymore. So I also hoping like doing YouTube will help me find like a nice you know, set of people who can um, do that kind of stuff with me, you know. Even if it's just like people who want to like, you know, comment to me and like... I'm sorry, it just caught me really off guard that all I did was use Scratch. Um, people who just want to like comment and like, you know, talk about stuff in the comment section, like, that's fine. I'm up for that. I think that engagement would just be really nice. Well, 15 wheezing. This game is very strange. That's all I can think about, like, whenever I'm playing. I don't know where I'm not playing, and I'm, like, thinking about... Got my next recording... Oh, biker, okay. Got my next recording coming up. You know, it's also kind of weird that there's no water punch. The closest thing we have is, like, liquidation. But something like Hitmonchan can't learn that. It can only, you know, light its fist on fire or electrify it or freeze it. Can't make water around it, I guess. I don't know. I feel like you you can't really um what's it called? You can't it, it's really hard to pick holes in Pokemon moves. Shift so kill. Um, yeah, it's really hard to pick holes and stuff like that, just because... is moving on from that point like it's sad but I'm just gonna move on um I forgot what I was talking about I think I was talking about how weird this game is um oh, arch. there's a lot in this game that just like doesn't really make a lot of sense like for example I'm finding an arch and like what's with that That gold is a really weird color. I feel like I should put Grey Loom in the front, but I also feel like, um, what's his name? Hitmonchan has the most versatility. Because if Grey Loom finds something that he just like can't fight, then. Like, I have to hard switch, and I risk getting a crit like I had with Primarina. Even though that wasn't even very effective, I'm kind of scared of that. Is that disarming cry? Is that what that said? I want to see if it'll do it again. Okay, that works. 
I'm very scared of crits. He's about to confuse himself anyways, too. That was a crit on grass. Okay. This is really crazy. Like I said, like, I don't really know how to get through Rock Tunnel very well. I'm just kind of going through it. I sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, you guys should let me know, though, if, um, you are going to either go to PAX or uh, disinter. Nope. The thing is about like learning a rock type move with Hitmonchan is it only is good against Bug, uh, Flying, and Ice. I'm already good against Ice. Why would I be in against a flying type in this game that literally crits me all the time? And bug, who even cares? I have an incineroar, why would I or and I have fire punch too, so like there's just no reason. Um, but PAX, uh you guys should let me know if um you're going to PAX or uh if you're just gonna in general like watch say like uh show your moves, which is a Smash tournament, uh hosted by cat wanting to sit on my lap. Hosted by um, Dobbs, which is a uh, YouTube channel that does a lot of Pokemon content. And a lot of uh, content creators are in that tournament, and I think it's going to be a super fun time to uh, watch, because uh, ob obviously uh, I am not going, but I think it'll still be enjoyable. Yeah, you guys should let me know if you're going back. That'll be a fun point of topic if you are. I know. I know. Wait, let's actually switch out to the Braylon. He's just safer in general here. Even if they were a Lolan, he'd still be safer. He cannot get comfortable. Okay, you're. Ooh, that's exactly what I need right now. That's physical, right? Yep. Oh yeah, we're gonna just wreck this guy. You know, I'm looking at all the encounters in this cave and I'm literally wishing I got, like, almost anything except a Mawile. Like, Mawile's fine and all, but, like, a Geodude, a Zubat, also super love Crobat. Um, an Onyx would have been okay, I'm sure they made it so you can get Steelix in this game. Flank would have been good. There's just a lot of better... I did not read that, I think it said Steelix. Yep. Door. We're just gonna switch out for safety. And so with um, Brayden now having Seed Bomb, that makes him like a super big threat now. Like a lot more than he was, because Mega Drain just was not doing it. It was good for stuff it was super effective against, but that's about it. Ah, claws in my leg. Not doing it. That's another problem I clearly have on my team. I do not have anything that's really resisting fairy right now. Ooh, nice. Felix is out here. And Cat's trying to chew on my headphone cord. That's a big old no. I've literally never in my life seen a furret, not furret, centret, use amnesia. Never seen that in my entire life. I didn't even know it learned that. Even in new games, I had no clue. Save, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. 
Porygon 100% has like side Pardos, again, we're just gonna be safe. We're just gonna destroy it. The Ziggs again. I honestly swear my men. These teams make literally no sense. They go from having a golem to having a zigzagoon. I, I just don't understand how they decided to make these teams. It just... There's clearly flaws. I would love that. Even though I already have fighting types. There's really just flaws, I feel like, in the way these teams are built. That's super random. I kind of don't waste the PP. Okay. That felt super unnecessary. I mean, it's just a cranium dose. Yeah. Do? See, that was a little bit better of a team. Like, just more consistent with everything that. Ooh, really? Is that the way out? Nice! That's the first time I've actually like, gotten out of Rock Tunnel in a very long time. Because I haven't actually played the games. No. No. My cord is not for chewing. You know, if you guys also have cats, you should let me know. And tell me about some of the dumb things that they do. Like trying to chew on power cords and that kind of stuff. It's always really great. Oh, cool. That's very tempting to add to my team. Um, being the ground weakness, so. But I've got two mon that resist ground. Well, one's immune to it, and one uh, is resistant to it, but it'd be three, it's super effective on a lot of beeps. I don't know. Wait, isn't this a new route too? Hold on, let me check. Uh, round 10. Let me check to see if I've gotten a round 10 encounter. I have not. But I'm gonna ride in Rock Tunnel real quick. We got a Mawile. And now we're gonna get a route. An encounter. It really helps me keep things a little bit more organized and remember what I have without necessarily needing to look in the PC. Um, let's get Felix out here. Huh. Interesting. Not the greatest in my mind, but interesting. Um, let's see if I'm catch up. I feel like this game has a similar problem. Okay, that works better on weaker mod. There we go. This game has a similar problem to, um... What's it called? Um... Gold and Silver and Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where they didn't raise the levels adequately enough to reflect what the trainers have. Because, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, in Gold and Silver, like, whenever you go over to Kanto, the levels are basically the exact same they were in the original games, but, like, the gym leaders and the trainers have, like, level in 40s and 50s, so it just doesn't really make sense, I guess. I don't think... Is Fletcher already fire? I think it is. I am now realizing that I've been making a bad choice. I am curious if you had an item, and that's why I did not just die. Hi. No. Just trying to play with my necklace now. Love playing with my necklace too.
barely held on. No. Not right now. Sorry. I'm going to heal and then I'll finish out looking around that route. And then I think we'll take a look around um, the city here. Lavender Town, that's what it's called. See if we get anything new and I'm going to probably decide if I want to... Well, I was really scared he's going to have a T-Tar. If I'm going to grind up anyone to be a new sixth member to the team. Let's see. Let me finish looking around town, see if anyone gives me like a static mon. Which might be enough to write down that Geo dude and the uh, Chingling I just caught. I was going to um, mess with Primarina's name and then I remembered, oh, it died. That's right. Very unfortunately. Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji. I wonder if Mr. Fuji will give you a mod after this. Like, maybe you get the Q-Bone. Um, I know for a fact that... Uh, the second guy has been giving me different things than what you would normally get in the game as well. I think I'm going to sell the, the X items, because I don't typically use those in playthroughs. Yeah, rare candies are worth a lot of money in this game, might as well get them sold. Okay, let's see what he has. Okay, he's the same pretty much every town. So, first things first. I think I need to buy more Hyper Potions. I cannot buy Hyper Potions. I can buy Ability Capsules. So, looks like... I feel like we will be able to like, really soon, but then again, having to like, items is just so important. Ability capsules at the moment. There are a lot of encounters to get around here, so I think some more great balls would be a good idea. And grab five more Ultra Balls. And I'll grab five Nest Balls. So everything is still pretty low level around here. I actually want to see if I have any Net Balls. Just two and one more timer ball. Okay. Um, let me just take a quick scout. I have a rod, so I could get something right here. I don't know. I feel like I could just go back to Paltown and pick up fish up like a magic cart. No, we're gonna go ahead and fish here. Maybe I'll get a polywag and I can just, you know, be like channel mascot kind of thing. Um, okay, do you have the old drive? No. No. There we go. Chin Chow, Chin Chow's solid. Okay, I can just write some things down. Chingling. Ten. Static. Hello, Geodude. And whatever else this is, got a Chin Chow. Paralyzed and then throw a nest ball at it. There we go. I can throw a net ball. No, it's gonna miss. Um. 
Shucky, I think too. I'm gonna name him Shucky. Reference to uh, original 151. You guys should definitely check out his channel if you do not know who that is. But he makes pretty great content. Uh, I'm gonna actually hang on. I want to see what that route is first. Route 12. Oop, there's a Raikou. Yeah, I want you. I want you to wait. Is it off? No. I thought it'd speed up on, it and that was how fast it was still moving. So is this round 11? Didn't show it again. Come on. Route 8. Do I have an encounter in Route 8? I feel like I would, because like, I just did Route 12. Are the rest just kind of weird in this game? Yep. It's kind of weird in this game. Okay. Um, let me check real quick if I don't have a Spiro. Nope. I do not have a Spiro. Uh, give me a second. I want to mark out the Hoplio that I no longer have. Round 12, not bad. This is round 8. And we're getting the Spiro. Okay. That's still a bad idea. This is another mod where it's gonna kind of hit itself. I guess we're gonna from these headphones. Let me see if it'll get itself into yellow health. That's all I really want. Okay. Death ball. reasons for nicknames, I just think of names. Now, I'm gonna go, let's go take a look in the box and see if there's anything I really want to add to the team. I think I already see something I really want to add to the team, but it would be a very bad idea. I really want to add Valentine back on the team, but it just, it's not smart because it just gives me more berry weakness. Um, I don't really have anything that actually counters fairy. I actually have a Bulbasaur, which would be bad, but I already have a Grass type too. I have a Mana Fae, and that would be a nice Water type for replacement. I think that could be interesting. Let's try having a Mana Fae. I don't get to use Mana Fae very often. So, I mean, I guess in the next episode, um, you guys will come back to, uh, more, more than likely a Manaphy grinded up. It might, actually might not be. But, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and stop it here. Um, in the next episode, we will, uh, most likely go to the left down Route 8 and go into, um, it's not Cerulean, uh, Celadon, Celadon City. And... Fight the gym there, explore there, get a drink there, you know. You know the whole deal, it's how it goes. Um, if, you join us up, if you have enjoyed this episode, um, please leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you answer some of these questions I've asked in the comment section so we can interact and explore each other's minds. You know, that's how it goes. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye!